Hello, everybody. One of the big questions that I receive on a regular basis is, Magdalena, where did you get your education from? Where did you go to school? And I have to say, my bio has not been updated for the longest time. And um, the Institute for Integrative Nutrition is there. And so there's a lot of graduates who email us and say, oh, I went to IIN as well, but you know so much. And the answer is yes, IIN was a great starting point to my career and gave me the certification to get going. But there is so much more that I'm using in my practice today that really has helped me build my business. And I thought the best way to really honor that and talk about it today, and I wanna just really share with you what the program is all about and who really helped me. Um, and that is my good mentor um, and friend, Andrea Nakayama. <laughs> Hello, Magdalena. I'm honored to receive that, that, uh, that mentorship. I mean, that's, you've done amazing work. So exciting to see. Yeah, thank you. And you know, and so you have this program that really changed my practice. It has changed, I, I would say even changed my life. And I really want to honor that and want to share this with, with everybody because it is um, something that the doors are open oftentimes if it's a DIY program, whether it's um, life that you do twice a year or so. So I want to talk about it, um, but before I do that, what, let me do just the, the CV because your resume, read it out to everyone because I think it's quite interesting and kind of gives a good wrap up um, of what, of who you are. Um, it's just not, I feel like actually this is just a small part of who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to my biggest mentor, Andrea Nakayama, as a functional nutritionist and renowned clinician. Andrea works with hundreds of clients with chronic issues who just aren't getting better anywhere else. And that has won her attention of many world uh, famous doctors who want to consult her on the most difficult cases. Um, as big of a deal as it might be, the biggest impact Andrea is making is with her curriculum for practitioners called Holistic Nutrition Lab, where she's training thousands of students in the science and art of functional nutrition um, and so that they can duplicate their clinical successes. She's been winning awards and been featured at numerous live conferences and online summits. Um, and I'm so excited that she's managed to squeeze in some time to, today to speak with us. So, Thank you, Magdalena. I'm so glad to be here. So, you know, I've never really had the chance, believe it or not, um, to, uh, I'm actually saying this to, to our listeners, believe it or not, I actually never had a talk with Andrea on sharing really what, how I have benefited from the program. So I really wanna articulate it today and I spent half an hour before this call preparing, really putting my thoughts together on what is it that I've really, how this has helped me. So, you know, um, starting point with I, was IAN and, and I think it was the biggest pain like with a lot of practitioners was the issue of, am I good enough? Do I know enough to really advise people? So, I felt like the holistic nutrition lab that I did, and especially the digestive intensive, which is the first part of the program, I'll, we'll tell you about that in a second, it has really helped me to up my game in the nutrition knowledge. Especially the digestive intensive, so you know, that there are certain things still today that I, whenever I talk about it, you, Andre, always come to my mind. You know, just learning, for example, the fact that we can have low vitamin B12, not because we are deficient in vitamin B12, or, or, or by giving people more supplements or getting a, a vegan to be turned into chicken livers. <laughs> right, right. But it's really about, sometimes it could be the stomach acid that is low. Um, I've learned from you that stomach acid can be the cause of so many different issues. And so delivering very real and very simple concepts that were really completely life-changing for so many of my clients. Um, you take, you know, today I'm, I'm able to work with the most complicated cases. Well, I wouldn't say maybe the most complicated, but very complicated cases to a point where, similarly as you, I've had doctors in California referring clients to me when they just got stuck with it, but they appreciate nutrition, they just didn't know how to deal with it. And, you know, and I think without your course, I would have never gotten myself to that point of being able to do workshops that are so powerful that doctors attend and say, you know, because it's in their clinics and they say, well, you know, this woman really knows what she's talking about. I've learned some timeless nutritional truth bombs, I call it. You know, when, for example, so one of the things you always say is, your health would always evolve as frustrating as it might be. Um, things that have worked six months ago might not work now. Things that are working right now might not be working six months from now, right? 
And that was a huge aha, and I think that's a big, um, you know, awakening for a lot of clients who expect that just because I dropped gluten and, you know, I did a parasite cleanse or a detox, that it sets me free for life. And it doesn't have to be. And it's just, I think, reframing that is just so important. Um, you know, I have so many clients who always say to me, how come you know more about this stuff than my doctor does? And, you know, how come my doctor has never told me this before? It's because of what my mom says that to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you know more than the doctors know. I'm like, well, yeah. we know something very particular, right? We know a lot about it. Yeah. You've also taught, it, taught us that, you know, never to look at the disease in isolation, but always looking at the underlying causes. So whether it's the medical history of a person, who are her parents, where does she live, how much has she left herself? What is her relationship with self? That is such an important factor as well. I remember the functional matrix that you taught us, all the factors that can impact a person and in the past and in the present. That was so powerful. And I use the tool today. I have it printed out on my table, on my desk. And, uh, and I look at it often when I work with more complicated cases. I also love the fact that you have a very non-dogmatic approach to things. You know, you, um, you, you, you don't stick with any particular diet. It's not about gaps. It's not about SCD. It's not just about any, it's about going paleo alone. Um, it is about what works for a person. And you don't just limit to nutrition either. It's also with supplements. I've learned so much about which brands of supplements, what to look for in the supplements to really advise the client. Because sometimes nutrition works, but we want to speed things up. Um, I've gained an incredible amount of trust to my clients. Sometimes that scares me, I have to say. But I think, you know, without that knowledge, for, without doing a course, I would have never had that. And last two points I want to mention is that with your program, I've gained the confidence of moving, of expanding my business from doing thyroid stuff only. I, my first business was called Thyroid Diet Coach. And I've always wanted to do bigger things because I felt like the thyroid is anyways connected so much to other hormones. They gave me the confidence to setting up hormones balance, which has really taken me places in, uh, you know, and I do what I really love. I always felt like thyroid was, just, was too small for me. Um, so, so that was a huge thing. And, you know, and lastly, it has enabled me to live the life I've always wanted, of living internationally, uh, living a nomadic life, which that's what I like to do, uh, be free, be financially secure with the programs and the knowledge that is poured into all the programs. And, um, and now also writing a book. So thank you. Oh my gosh, Magdalena. I'm just, I'm so touched that the training has impacted you in all those ways that you mentioned. And you're a beautiful and perfect example of what can happen when we change our perspective of how to approach health. And I always like to say that my mission is to change the way we do healthcare by empowering the patient to be the agent of their own change. And in order to do that, we as practitioners need to step into a very particular place of being the educator and the mentor and the coach. There's so many things. We have to really think about what it means to think functionally. And there's a mindset shift there because a lot of times as, as clinicians, we want to solve the problem. We want to have all the answers. And we think if we do more trainings or get more skills, that we will have the answers. And it really is about a paradigm shift. And you've really adopted that beautifully. Thank you. So tell us a little bit more about the program, because I know this is your big, this is really your very treasured baby, an outcome of a lot of your work and your own personal story. If I can just mention, you have an incredibly touching story. I remember first time reading about it, I actually cried. Um, and it is in the video of the page, because we have only like 20 minutes today, right, or so. So, um, so we have that, the story of your husband's death and the child and pregnancy and everything that you went through. It's all on the page of um, on the Digestive Intensive, which is uh, an introductory video on the page. The link is down below this video, so you can watch that. Um, let's talk a little bit more about the program. And yeah, we'll have to yeah. hear. Yeah, thank you. So I think just like quickly, like many of us, my journey into this realm started with a family health crisis. And as Magdalena said, you can learn more about that in the videos down below. I did lose my husband to a brain tumor when our child was just 19 months old. And it changed my life as these things do. And a lot, he changed my life, his illness changed my life. And seeing how the medical system 
impacted him or didn't address who he was as a whole individual really informed the work I do. And my practice grew incredibly quickly when I hung my shingle. I'm also an IIN grad. I've been to Bowman College. I did all my post back pre-med, pre-reqs to get into a registered dietitian program. I got in, but at that point didn't want to move my child, started practicing. Honestly, I learned more in practice than I ever could have learned in any program. Uh, the most successful uh, students coming from the holistic nutrition lab community are those that are seeing clients, even if it's practice clients or they have a uh, practice already, they're really able to put the concepts into action. So, you know, fast forward, my clinic was growing quickly and then uh, other people, other practitioners were begging me to teach what it was that I was doing. And a lot of that came into fruition from me teaching and realizing what the students didn't know. So uh, Holistic Nutrition Lab is a curriculum that's focused on functional nutrition, and it's through the science and the art of the functional nutrition practice. So I just want to break that down a little bit, if that's okay, Magdalena, does that because, work? Because I think a lot of people wonder what really, what does that mean, functional nutrition, right? Yeah, absolutely. So in functional nutrition, what I've done is I've adopted some of the main principles from functional medicine for our purposes as nutrition and lifestyle practitioners, which are different. We are not using medical intervention. We're really using food as medicine and lifestyle modification as medicine. So some of those main principles are that we work in partnership. And I've really broken that down. How do we work in partnership with other practitioners, with the confidence that Magdalena talked about? How do we work in partnership with our patient or client? How do we teach them to be in partnership with, their, with themselves and with their lives? So partnership is a key component of the functional practice. In addition, we always have to work in systems. The health crisis that we're facing these days is more and more complex. There are many reasons that led to somebody's signs, symptoms, and diagnosis. It's not just one thing. And for us to understand that, we need to have systems to work into. And this is where I introduce the functional nutrition matrix, where we can capture different parts. And in addition to that, we're always looking for the root cause. So instead of just addressing signs and symptoms, in functional nutrition, we're always asking why. Why is this happening? It doesn't mean we don't ameliorate the signs and symptoms if we can do so quickly. Like, you know, let's use an example. If somebody's constipated, it doesn't mean we don't bring in magnesium to help them right away. But we're also asking why. Is it a thyroid issue? Is it a motility issue? Is it what they're eating in their diet? How do we understand the whole picture? And that really is the main premise of functional nutrition, that we're understanding how to work with the whole person. And what I like to teach is that the person has a story that's unique to them. They have a soup or a physiological environment that's unique to them. And the skills that you bring in to help them are also going to be unique to that terrain. And if you're looking at any one of those areas individually, just the skill, just the soup, or just the story, you're in violation of the whole person. Yeah. And the reason we can work with people with those complex cases is because we see the whole. Yeah. And, you know, I have to say one of the things that I benefited a lot from is case studies that you spend so much time um, um, addressing and taking on cases of very complex sometimes cases of uh, the participants when you're doing your live programs and uh, I really love that by the way I couldn't resist but show everybody this is another thing I've learned from you is matcha tea um, matcha I've got my matcha too you do awesome <laughs> great this is well, I'm doing my afternoon matcha using your morning matcha <laughs> It was this big celebration um, here yesterday, so um, so I am um, I'm paying the price for it. I typically don't do caffeine anymore, but um, I had to, to to do it today just to um, kind of get my thoughts together. Um, so so what is the difference between holistic nutrition lab? Um, and we're going to talk about in a second how you break it down as well uh, in terms of the sequencing of the program. But um, what's the difference between you and there's more and more nutrition programs out there? 
There are, there are nutrition programs. There's all different offerings out there. And there, it is important to take a first step and to really do what you said, Magdalena, you started with IIN. There are a number of different coaching programs out there right now that give you that first step and sort of give you an idea about what you might encounter in the realm of being a nutrition or lifestyle practitioner. And what we do differently is that paradigm shift. I'm teaching you how to think, how to say the thing you need to say when you're in a complicated situation with a client, how to use physiology in a really easily understandable way to help you piece together the puzzle of the complexity. So I, I used to like to think about it as um, using physiology as a tool for transformation because patients are so divorced from their body these days. They don't know what's going on. They're looking for the quick fix, just make me feel better. And we as practitioners are looking for the quick fix. And on the practitioner side, while the patient's looking for the next pill, protocol, or practitioner, the clinicians are looking for clinical evidence and what are the studies out there. And while cl clinical evidence is really important, what I like to say is it's true, but partial. Not everything that's happening in the body is going to warrant or um, get the testing that it needs to get to really live in the realm of clinical studies. But what the truth is, is physiology. We've got stuff going on inside of our body. And when we understand that, we can easily explain it to our patients and clients, and they then can take ownership of it. Yeah, a good example. Remember, oh, go ahead, Magdalena. One of the things I remember learning from you is how um, just looking at labs from someone, I mean, you can teach somebody all about labs, and there are programs who teach you extensively about how to read in a client's, uh, a patient's labs, but is that the full story? And and you, you taught us so well that it is not, it's just part of the story. And even the interpretation of labs is another thing altogether and question of ranges and what else is going on. So um, that was a huge one. So Andrea, who is a perfect candidate for the program? Well, definitely somebody like you, Magdalena, who has gone through some first step training. So it's not an entry level program. I like to think about it as graduate school for people coming out of IIN or the Health Coach Institute, people who have had some basic training and know like, wait a minute, I didn't learn enough nutrition. I thought I was going to learn more nutrition and I, I'm getting these people who have complex issues and bringing in green smoothies isn't working or or what I'm able to recommend isn't enough. And so I think about it as the graduate school for those people who have an advanced understanding and know they want that next step. In addition to that, that's about half of our, our, um, our student population. The other half are nurse practitioners, uh, registered nurses, RNs. I love those students. They really learned the anatomy and physiology and they're taking it to the next level, understanding what I call symbiosis, where food meets the physiology, which isn't really taught in any medical programs, physician's assistants, licensed acupuncturists. There are some MDs in the program. So it's really a wide range. DOs, there's a big range of uh, people coming from different scopes and the place we come together is really caring about the place where food meets physiology where we really truly understand food as medicine because one person's healing food is going to be another person's poison and in order to understand why why does that bone broth not work for somebody why does that coconut oil not work for somebody when we understand the physiology we start to go oh I introduced that B complex, that methylated B complex, and that person got dizzy. That's not a mistake. I'm not bad. That actually tells me more information. Mm -hmm. And that's what we start to be able to step into. Yeah. Makes me want to take the program all over again. <laughs> it gets better every year. I, yes, really I, I, I see. Um, <laughs> so tell us about how you structure the program into the parts. 
Yes, so the main school curriculum is broken down into um, digestive intensive is the first module and it's the only standalone module and that's offered twice a year. And I really like to make that accessible for people so as many people as possible can come through the digestive intensive and start to practice root cause resolution because it all starts in the gut. All health issues, hormone health issues, thyroid health issues, immune and autoimmune issues Issues. So really starting with the digestive intensive, that's offered live twice a year. And then we move into full body systems, which is, um, which is seven modules. We include the digestive intensive, the immune intensive, the urinary intensive, one that maybe isn't so sexy, but is very important, the cardio intensive, endocrine, neuro and reproductive intensive. So that's the nine month curriculum. And uh, we can back it up from there. That's really the, the crux of the school. But I make it easy for people to learn with me at different levels as well. So I teach a course called Reframe Nutrition, three frameworks to assess client and patient care. And that's where we start to work with that functional nutrition matrix, where we map that story the soup and the skill, and that Can becomes a tool. Sorry, so that I understand. So reframe nutrition is is it like the first one that leads on to the next ones? Like, what what do you recommend somebody um, starts off with? So if we're thinking outside of the school, just starting to learn with me, very first step, super easy, is to get your hands on the Functional Nutrition 101 ebook. This explains more about what Functional Nutrition, one, functional nutrition is and also get, includes my entire intake. And every time we update our intake, we update the intake in that book and on your portal. So you have my most active and relevant intake. That's a very first step, Functional Nutrition 101, and I believe Magdalena has the link to that down below. After that, we move into the Reframe Nutrition Workshop Series. That's a three-part teaching and a quarterly work group where you get together with people around the world and um, you start to work into groups understanding how to use the Functional Nutrition matrix. So once you're in that program, you're always invited to those quarterly community work groups. I really am a stand for us getting out of this individualized, I've got to do it all on my own approach and coming together as a community. So Functional Nutrition 101 to Reframe Nutrition. And then the next step is the Digestive Intensive but I just wanna say that if you leap right into the digestive intensive, all those other materials are included. So you're all set. And I when... started off, yeah, I started off with the digestive intensive um, and then, and I loved it so much, I immediately went and upgraded that to the full body system. But um, if somebody is just evaluating things, then I, I feel like any, any one of those is a great starting point. If I think if somebody is really gung ho, it's like, I really like this, what this woman is saying. And I think Magdalena, I, you know, I, I like her stuff. I would suggest go straight into the digestive intensive because it's just like, that's the, that's the most uh, powerful, I think. And you get all the other stuff included in it already. So, and it's really not a huge investment. So what you're going to get, because really the, the few hundred dollars that it is, is going to be completely covered in the extra clients you're going to get, the conference you're going to get, the summits you're going to be invited to, the speakers, speaker, speaking engagement you're going to be getting from doctors. I mean, all of that is going to be recovered like in no time whatsoever. Um, okay, so what do you think? Um, what haven't we told? Oh, can I just add one more thing, which you haven't mentioned, and that is your community and your support during the life programs uh, it's just tremendous. Like, I don't know how many hours a day you spend on that forum, but it's like there's all these threats on with those most difficult cases, those ridiculous questions, right? The most, uh, you know, obnoxious things that you, or things that you always wanted to know, but you just, you never had a good person to ask, uh, you know, what kind of magnesium should I be using, right? And, you know, and, and the different types and what should I be testing? And what is MTHFR and, you know, and blah, 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 blah. And so, and you are there every day answering those questions all the time, which I felt like that forum, if nothing else, like the forum has just answered all the questions I always had. Um, and for the, for the months that I was in your program, I would have like this notebook on my phone, this page that I will always be logging questions because, you know, you drive and something comes up and it's like, I've got to ask Andrea that. And so I always, then I always go on the, 
on your side and just pop those questions and and you are there like within a day or two you just answer them so yeah i'm so glad you brought that up magdalena because we find it the most difficult portion of the program to talk about um because there's nothing like it anywhere in any other program uh we are really committed me and my entire nutrition team so i have a clinic and all the nutritionists are required to be over on the message board now. And at this point, we, we like to refer to it as our second classroom mm -hmm. because there's so much rich content there. But we also think of it now as the functional nutrition Google because yeah. people go to the message board, they search for a new client or something that they're researching, they find answers, then they go to Google, they get confused and nothing is relevant there. They come back to their transcripts of the classes, to the message board and everything they need for a case that they didn't think they could handle is right there. And it's not just the answers, it's also the coaching that we can do on the message board. So oftentimes somebody's asking a question and I'm saying, wait, 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 back up. That might not be the right question to ask. So there's a level of coaching of how do you think into these cases? Yeah, and, and just one more thing to add, as I, I think we can just talk about this forever, can't we? Um, is, um, is, is I think, you know, in, it's not just the hard knowledge of nutrition that I think people walk away from it, but it's also, it's about asking the right questions, because sometimes also what people tell you is, or how they, how they self-diagnose themselves, is then you realize later is actually not the full story. So it's asking the right questions, but I think it's also what I really enjoyed, and I think you're doing more and more of that now, is that, for example, bringing the sense of empathy to somebody. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm naturally not a very empathetic person. I'm the first person to admit that. I'm a, like, I kick ass. I kick ass my own ass, but other people's asses. So you're naturally not the most empathetic person. But I've learned from you just to put on that hat. And I think, um, you know, for that kind of type A personality, I think it's a big, it's a huge reframe that it creates uh, for seeing, you know, for seeing people, like if you want us to be seeing people in practice. Yeah, or we're too empathetic as people who care about. It. So right. we're either and not enough, enough or, yeah. And, and you end up attracting a lot of victims, victim clients and crying babies that are just there to cry and never improve, right? So very true. Yeah. Exactly. So there's a huge part to how we approach the cases. And honestly, and I think this is a good note to end on unless there are a few other questions, Magdalena, is that that's where the confidence comes from. The confidence doesn't come from knowing more clinical data or having more skills. The confidence comes from knowing I've got this because I have to back it up and ask the right questions. And that's where I see practitioners like you really thrive when they have that sensibility of, oh, I will learn what I need to know next when it comes to me in practice. Mm -hmm. And that's going to come from asking the right questions and really being with the individual who's coming to you for help and support. Yeah. Great. I have, I have like new things that are coming to my head as I'm remembering stuff, but you know, I just want to honor the 20 minutes, which is way past that. I promised everybody we do, do it in 20 minutes. I know you have limited time this morning. Um, what are some of the final thoughts that you want to share with us, Andrea? Uh, just that I'm, I'm so committed to the positioning that we have as nutrition and lifestyle practitioners. And what's been really exciting for me is seeing the ground that we're making and the recognition that I'm receiving from functional medicine and from functional and integrative medicine practitioners because they know that nutrition and lifestyle modification matters, but they don't know how to implement like we do and how to hold somebody through the challenges of making diet and lifestyle changes. Those don't come easy. They're not going to come with a handout. And so we really get to step in there and I see our place as hugely important. And whatever I can do to continue to just be at the forefront for the work that we do and really carve the way for its importance, I'm going to do, but it's really for the community of practitioners and what we do every single day with the individuals that is most important to me. 
Yeah. And, you know, and you mentioned guides. Um, you know, that's one of the biggest things that people love about my program, which I have learned from you, is to do guides. And you do a lot of those guides, those done for you guides, as you call them. Something that as a practitioner, you can literally take them, put your own brain on it, and get yourself started in whatever area that you're in. So anyway, I can just keep going. <laughs> And you've got stuff to do. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's just wrap this up. Again, thank you so much thank you. Uh, for just giving me the freedom of doing what I'm doing. And, um, and I hope that more people jump on this because this is really coming from a completely um, you know, genuine place. And um, I mean, gosh, it's, it's, um, it's just, it, it really was a life-changing experience for me. So I want to thank you for that. You're so welcome and thank you for that reflection and bravo for everything you're doing. Like I said, it's so exciting to watch and I think more of us can be doing really impactful, powerful work and living the lives we want to live, which includes helping more people. We can yeah. do it. Yeah. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you.